today I want to share with you a trick to help you um, get your shared folders working in VirtualBox. So if you're having trouble getting your shared folders working, it's because you don't have a piece of software that you need for that, probably. So I have Ubuntu 22 and I'm running Windows 10 in VirtualBox and I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. The first thing we want to do is create the folder we want to share. So I've already got one here that I'm sharing with a different virtual box um, entity. So I want to create a new one. I'm going to call this one uh, WinShare Temp. Okay. So I'm going to share this WinShare Temp folder with my Win10 new, new format clone uh, instance of my Windows 10 over here. So let's go ahead and change our settings. So the first thing you want to do is highlight the one that you want to share a folder with. Then you're going to go to settings and then shared folders and then you want to create your shared folder. Now you do need to select your path and the best way to do that really is just to use the menu. So I'm going to choose my folder alright and this folder name is fine and you want to choose auto mount now I've had trouble adding a mount point that will actually work so I'd like to add a mount point like in my documents but I'm not seeing that actually work so I'm just gonna leave that blank here and let the uh, virtual box uh, software choose that for me okay now choose OK now you'll notice when you start your instance of Windows 10, it, your shared folder does not load automatically. And if you're here, that's probably the problem you're having. All right. Let's log into Windows 10. And if I bring up the folder, you'll notice the shared folder isn't there. So even if I go to Documents, it's not there. You'll see it under this PC when it's actually working. So let's go ahead and get that going. So go to Devices and then Insert Guest Editions CD Image. So you need to, so that's a virtual CD image that if you click that, it will be inserted into your virtual CD drive in your Windows instance. Okay, so give it just a sec here. Let's click on that. Okay, well it's showing up here. So now double click your VBox Windows Editions EXE file. Alright, and then we'll just follow the prompts to install Guest Editions. And I think this is also the software that you need to get your um, your drag and drop working as well. I did this before and I believe that was what I, I used. So you'll want to enable drag and drop to get that to work, okay? I may make another video with that. So when we restart, we should actually see our shared folder and it's this Windows Share Temp folder I've set up. I'm sorry I have a little bit of background noise today. So, when we open our folder, you can see your Windows Share Temp folder here. And so that is actually sharing. 
Let's move it to the left and let's put something in here. So let's just add a new folder and call it temp2. Okay, I'm not very creative. Alright, and when we refresh, you see the temp2 here. So you can, in fact, add things to this folder now. And so that's how to get um, shared folders working in VirtualBox. And again, if you want to get your drag and drop working, I think what you do is just go here and choose, you know, whichever you want, bi-directional. Okay, and so I don't really, this is a new install for both systems, so there's not a lot to drag and drop here. So let's choose a folder like Documents, where we wouldn't have anything, and let's just bring this untitled document over. So see, now that is working as well. So you need that, um, and, and it may not have been working for you before, so you need to install Guest Editions to get that working for both of those features in VirtualBox.